Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I am Rio. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, you'd have seen that I have picked up quite a few jerseys. I have three or four jersey hauls on my channel. And in those videos, I told you guys that I bought a lot of jerseys. And up until this point, you pretty much have seen everything except for my Jordan jerseys. The rest of these jerseys are gonna all be Jordan jerseys from Mitchell and Ness. And there's quite a bit. So what I intend to do is kind of give you these in portions. As you can see, I have what started it all. This is the beginning. And then I will be doing the Bulls years. I will do the Olympic jerseys. I will do all-star jerseys, practice jerseys. I just intend to kind of give you those um, in pieces over the next two to three months. <laughs> Before we get into the rest of the video, this video is sponsored by Fresh Clean Tees. Now, Fresh Clean Tees is a direct to consumer clothing brand founded by a husband and wife duo. Whether you're looking for some tees to rock casually, minimally, or with your jerseys, Fresh Clean Tees has it all. From tanks, tees, long sleeve and short sleeve, crew necks, v necks, tall tees, henleys, polos, hoodies, sweatshirts, and even socks. You'll find premium quality, comfortability, and great fitting products. You can subscribe and save on your favorite items, or you can shop those pieces individually. You can also purchase in packs to get fully equipped in one go. You can find sizes from small all the way up to 3XL. So there's a fit for every body. All of my pieces are size medium, starting with the charcoal crew neck. Super soft and comfy, and as you guys know, I love a great t-shirt, and this one is top notch. Next, we have the short sleeve Henley in Wedgwood. It's a blue color with gray undertones. Three buttons at the neckline, straight hem, extremely comfy and super soft. Then we have the long sleeve Henley in vintage white, which is pretty close to a light gray. Three buttons at the neckline, tri-blend material, raglan sleeves with a rounded hem. The Loma hooded long sleeve. Now the color on this one is Garnet, which is a dark red slash burgundy. Very lightweight and super soft. Tri-blend material, casual and stylish. We have the Cali pullover in black. Thicker than a t-shirt, lighter than a sweater. 5.3 ounces of French terry, raglan sleeves with ribbing at the collar, cuffs and waistband. If you're interested in checking out any of these pieces or fresh clean tees, click the link at the top of the description section. And of course, I have a discount code for you guys. Use code REOP15 to save 15% off of your order. Thank you to Fresh Clean Tees for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to the jersey. Fair warning, this is not a jersey channel. Some of you have been subscribing, liking the jersey content, wanting to see more jersey content, but I just wanna let you know that this channel is not dedicated or predicated to jerseys there are a lot of channels out there that make that kind of content my channel is more a fashion style and lifestyle channel and so if you're only looking for jersey content unfortunately this channel may not be for you i appreciate you for watching if you enjoy it hit a like button drop a comment but a subscription may not be the best thing for you because you may not be happy being a subscriber of this channel if you like fashion you like style uh, and just like seeing my takes on different elements of style and fashion, feel free to subscribe and check out future content. With that being said, the next group of jerseys that I go through, the Bulls years, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of all the other channels that I'll recommend you to check out. This one, I'm gonna kind of keep this fairly short and simple since only just one jersey. Kind of just want to go through this particular jersey, pretty much talk about some ways that I would style it, or at least one way I would style it and some things I would wear it with to kind of give you guys some insight if you want to grab this or look forward or maybe just have something similar to this. As you can see here, this is the North Carolina Tar Heels jersey from Mitchell and Ness. From my understanding, it was a UK exclusive. I don't remember exactly when I bought it. It was last year in 2020, but I was scrolling through IG one day and at that point I already bought quite a few jerseys and I wanted this jersey, but I knew it didn't exist, at least from Mitchell and Ness. And I'm scrolling through IG one day and I just happened to see a post from Mitchell and Ness because I was following them. It had just released and it said shop. I clicked on the link and it was like a UK exclusive and it made no sense to me. And at that point I was kind of like bummed because I didn't think I could buy it. Then I saw people in the comments because saying the same kind of thing, like, why would you do this? Jordan didn't play in the UK, played in the USA. Why would you do this? People was commenting like, you can still order it no matter where you are. So I went to the website, placed the order. And of course I got it. Of course, we all know Jordan went to North Carolina. He played three years in college 81 82 82 83 and then 83 84 this particular jersey is from his last year the 83 84 season and of course this is the away 
colorway. All of my jerseys are a size medium disc, of course, as well as in a size medium. Every jersey that I show you is gonna be in a size medium, but I'll do my best to mention those in those videos for those who won't watch every single video. I've always been a Jordan fan. For that reason, I just always wanted to have Jordan jerseys and I always had like the champion jerseys, which are still like, they're dope retro pieces, but I also wanted to have like quality, just the next level step up of quality. And I've tried the authentic champion. I've tried the Nikes, authentic Nikes. And those are good jerseys, but there is just something different about Mitchell and Ness. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. There's some of you guys out there that don't like them. Some of you guys love them. Everyone has their own opinion on it. For me, I grew a, a strong liking to them last year. For me, when it comes to jerseys, I try to keep it somewhat simple. I don't wanna really overdo it. So when I'm rocking something like this, I'll kind of keep it simple. You can do a t-shirt underneath or no t-shirt. I would usually wanna extend the accents of the, um, the sleeve hem and go white if that's, the, probably the, the simplest and the cleanest way to do it. You can do a uh, really harsh contrast and go black, especially if you're gonna wear black jeans or dark jeans, or you can go gray. I think gray would be a nice look if you have something else in the outfit that's gonna complement that color. The easiest and cleanest way to go is a white t-shirt. For jeans, I would typically do a light blue or a medium blue. I don't know if you hear that rumbling outside. My neighbor's cutting his grass. I'm sure you can hear that. I would probably stick with medium or light blue. I wouldn't really do a, a really, really dark denim simply because the... I think he's right by my window. I'll wait a moment. Eventually. I wouldn't do a dark, dark, dark jean simply because whatever color sneakers you wear, you're gonna create a very harsh contrast between the top and the bottom layer. And I think you want to have something that kind of flows together very nicely. And I think a lighter color of denim will create a... a a smoother transition between the top and the bottom. That's just a personal, uh, a styling technique that I like to use and it's, it's, it's my approach usually when I have something as unique as this as a top layer. Sneakers that you can rock these with. Jordan brand has made tons and tons of sneakers that complement this color over the years. Jordan 1s, there's a ton of university Jordan 1s that you can find, 3s, there's 4s. I don't know if there's any 5s, um, I believe there's some sixes, like there's sevens, there are tons of, and I think there's way more Jordan ones than anything, but there's tons of different options out there that you can rock with this particular color. When it comes to the footwear options that I personally own that I think can work really well with this colorway, I have one, two, three, four, five options here. So first up, we have the Pantone 11s. Of course, this isn't an exact match of color, but when you have it on your foot and it's down at the bottom and wear something on the top, it doesn't have to be an exact match. They're gonna complement each other Anyway, we also have the, um, what are these? The Columbia's or Legend Blue 11s, which does have hints of that Carolina Blue on the Jumpman and somewhat on the, you know, outsole with the, uh, the shades of the blue tint there. French Blue 7s, of course, have the French Blue color, the light blue accents, so it complements well enough. Have a pair of Jordan 20s, which don't really get worn as often. Now, these are actually, um, a pair from 2005. And shout out to my uh, my twin brother who just kind of just gave these to me. And they're half size, a little bit bigger, but they're still dope. And I think it's a very solid combination to put with these because it's, you don't really see these that often. And then we have probably will be my first choice out of everything I own, just because it is the most complimentary. And that is, what are these? Like the alpha something ones, I always forget but it has that first shot image on the side panels of the sneaker. And of course, this is the year that he was known for hitting that shot in a championship game. This isn't the exact colorway because it, he was wearing the home version of that jersey, but this does complement that jersey. Pretty, pretty dope. My fit for this would be light blue jeans, um, a white t-shirt underneath and a cap. Uh, that I actually just ordered is not here yet, but by the time I get this video out free to you guys, it should be here. And it um, has the heels on there, it's green underbrim. It's a snapback. This would be a dope, dope combination and anything that you see here can be worn with it. Of course, tons of other options that you can rock with it as well. That is what's gonna start off this series of Jordan Jersey pickups. Keep in mind, there's quite a bit more to come. So if you're excited to see those, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, follow me on IG to see how I style some of these things. And I'm gonna catch you guys very shortly or soon enough with the next Jersey pickups. Peace.